Hey everybody, Demi here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to fix items with bad ambient occlusion and end up looking transparent. Um, so ambient occlusion right off the bat is a type of shading that Source Filmmaker uses um, to try and simulate how uh, objects actually interact with each other. Um, you can see like the green here, um, it gets darker where um, model geometry gets closer to each other. So it looks pretty nice when you actually render it out. Uh, just like this. It smooths out, it looks pretty nice. However, uh, some models, for example, uh, the Degreaser from Team Fortress 2, uh, just don't interact with it well. As you can see, it's kind of transparent, you can see through it, it's just blah. Um, so one way you can fix this is just to turn off ambient inclusion, just like altogether. Uh, while this could look good and it doesn't look absolutely horrible, um, I'm a sucker for ambient inclusion, um, and I'm stubborn, so I like to have it on. So, fortunately, there's a pretty easy way to fix this, so let's actually get right into it. Um, so, we're actually going to want to install a few programs first. Um, so, one of them is going to be Crowbar. It's a program used to decompile and compile models for the Source Engine. That's free. And you're also going to want Notepad++. It's a text editor just like your default Notepad, except um, it's more for programming stuff. I just use it because um, it gives me the line numbers. It's pretty nice. Both of those are free, and I'm going to put the link in the description, and I'm going to try to keep them updated for you guys. Anyway, so what we want to do is uh, spawn in our faulty model. In this case, I already have it in as the degreaser. And we're going to... Right click that and show game model in Explorer. This is going to show us the actual MDL file in our uh, file explorer. And we can just take that entire folder and copy paste it into our documents. Uh, now we can actually just quit out Source Filmmaker, so let me just do that. Alright, so I'm just going to put this to the side. And so when you download Crowbar, it's going to be in a, um, a zipped file. You can just take both of these and just drag them wherever you feel like. We're going to take Crowbar, open that up, and we're going to decompile. Uh, go to Browse and just find our file, uh, in this case Degreaser and Degreaser MDL. So this is straight from the zip, so there's no settings that I've uh, changed at all. We're just going to hit Decompile. Um, once the set is finished, we're going to open up our folder, go into our model, and we're, uh, it's going to create a new decompiled folder. We're going to open that up, and there's a QC file right there. So we just open that up, and there we go. So this is C degrees or QC. This kind of determines all the properties here. So we can just enter any other uh, line that we want. And we're going to put in two lines. Uh, we're going to put in a dollar sign and ambient boost. That's one word. And another one is going to be mostly opaque. So we're going to save that right there, and we can close out all of these. We're going to move over to our Compile tab. Uh, before we do anything, I'm actually going to uncheck Output Folder, and we're going to go um, to set up our game. So it's going to give you a huge list here. Uh, Source Filmmaker is actually already in there, so we don't have to configure anything, which is pretty convenient. We're going to browse for our QC file that's going to be in our decompiled folder right there. Open that up, and we're going to hit Compile. And once it says that's finished, we can actually go back into Source Filmmaker. Just give it a moment. Alright, let's open that back up. And there we go. It should actually, um, sometimes you're going to have to um, delete one model and replace it. But in this case, with the degreaser, it actually uh, fixed it for us. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's got ambient occlusion. If we turn it on, we can see that it actually appears. And that's pretty nice. So this will work um, with pretty much every uh, Team Fortress 2 model that I have uh, worked with. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, if not, well, I guess I suck. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for tutorials that you want to see that... Um, I might know about then just leave them in the comments and thanks a lot hope this helped